him come in the boat. <laughs> Madison County today, DR Bozeman is letting this fine group of people go hunting. What can we expect for today's hunt? Hopefully you'll see a lot of deer. You go into some stands that haven't had very much pressure and the uh, food plots are looking excellent. Good. Well now, Trey, you have hunted uh, here your whole life. Yes, ma'am. Do you think today's going to be a good day for us? I think today's going to be a great day. Well, we hate that you can't go with us, but maybe you can help me clean. Maybe so. Let's I would hope love so. To. Let's go. Man is going to be hunting this afternoon on a stand that's on the edge of a cut cornfield. Uh, we've got some fields planted in there, uh, food plots with wheat and oats, some lanes that are going to be through a, a younger timber stand. Going to be a lot of opportunity to see a lot of different wildlife from deer. Possibly could see some turkeys, may see some, some bobcats and some other kind of animals also in that area. One of the things about this stand is that there's going to be a lot of opportunities to view deer at a great distance. Uh, it's going to be about 360, 370 yards straight out in front of the stand. So there may be an opportunity to watch a deer for quite a long time before it's able to work its way in. Hopefully it'll get worked in this afternoon before the sun gets down too low and we're able to get a good clean shot. In this part of Mississippi, in Madison County on the Big Black River, we have extremely high deer populations. People can go to the stands in the afternoon and see a number of does, can see a number of fawns, and typically can see a number of bucks in just one afternoon sitting. So there'll be plenty of opportunities to see plenty of deer this afternoon. Uh, another thing that's about this property is they've been on the deer management program now for about six years. Been taking some really good quality animals off the property harvesting the number of does they need to be harvesting every year to keep this population where it needs to be. This was the stand that they were sending Amanda to, it was a stand that multiple deer had been seen in this general area. The stand had not been hunted yet during that year. Had actually had one of the, the kids on the property had been sitting in that stand trying to find deer for, actually trying to find deer for his sister to shoot. And we knew that we were gonna be coming out here. We're able to put Amanda in this area uh, we've had some really nice deer killed on this property over the last few years by some of the, the younger hunters that are able to hunt here. We've got uh, multiple deer in the Magnolia Records program coming off of this property, and it should be a really good afternoon. Can you see him without the scope? He's walking this way. No, he's broad. 
hillside's still up the hill. He's still above that trail. Yeah, I can see it. Oh, let's go. I'm gonna get the hammer back. Okay. He's not broadside. Yes, he is. He well, is. he turned a little bit. He turned a little bit. He's turned away from us a little bit. See, I don't want to take a back shot. No, just wait. Did he hit him? He kicked hard. Did a mule kick. Did he? Did a mule kick hard. I mean, that, uh, that was hard to see him. Hey, usually when I see him kick like that, you hit him. Have it on his shoulder. Oh, I had it dead on him, but that don't mean nothing. All right, we are going to see if I hit my deer. I've got a good team with me that's going to help me look. We even have Cliff, the dog, the lad that's going to help us look. So let's go see. Come on, man. Right there, Cliff. What is he, man? He's like 120 inches, 160 inches. I honestly couldn't tell you how many inches he is. He's tall. <laughs> Rusty, how big a deer did we shoot here? He's pretty nice. I wouldn't shoot him if he was uh, little. <laughs> Golly! <laughs> I'm telling you. Oh, wow. He is good. He's a good sense of beauty. Oh, my God. Look at that thing. Wow. That's a big deer. Uh, it's been a while, and I will say, going on seven years with Mississippi Outdoors, this is the best buck I've shot at, it's the best buck I've killed, and it was a fabulous day. <laughs> we saw hundreds of deer, literally hundreds. Uh, I can't thank y'all enough for letting me come out here. This is, this, is a, uh, this is a prize. Drag him out. Yep. <laughs> For over 70 years, Mississippi Outdoors Magazine has served the readers of the Magnolia State. In it contains several interesting features, such as wildlife photography, the lunar table, and even a kid's page. Subscriptions to the magazine are very inexpensive, and when you subscribe, you will receive six bi-monthly issues containing articles on hunting and fishing in the state, public lakes, state parks, and even our wildlife management areas. For more information, call our toll-free number at 1-888-874-5785. There's a good one. That's a pretty snowball. We're leaving out of Point Cadet, Biloxi today. We're on board the Fighting Chicken with the famous, world famous, Captain Lenny Mulatussi. Very good, very good. Lenny, tell us what we're gonna be doing today. Uh, today is gonna be an overnight trip. We're gonna go out probably 80, 90 miles. We're gonna fish, bottom fish for a few hours for groupers. And then we're gonna deep drop for some deep water fish, try to find you some tile fish, some barrel fish. Tonight, I'm gonna get really lucky and catch a swordfish. That's my plan. That's the plan. The fallback plan is we might end up chasing tunas. We really don't know what we're gonna do, but we're gonna try to come back with a box of fish. I guarantee you, it's not gonna be a dull moment. On the way out, we're gonna be stopping catching our live bait. We're gonna try and catch hardtails, bonita, maybe some kings would be great. Uh, we're just gonna bump our way all the way out, catching bait. Yeah. You 
want to film that water spout? Yeah. Like a water spout, nigga. Day one to four. <laughs> he won't even let me get the anchor set. He's got to catch a fish. <laughs> we're gonna get, get. We don't need to go anywhere. <laughs> we're gonna stay here all day. What is he? AJ. Little Jack. Yeah, it's a little one, but it's a start. Let's stay where we're right on the edge for a little bit. We're pretty much grouper. Um, we're trying they, to find they some got groupers. A huge structure here, and they're gonna, they're gonna, I'm sure we catch a lot of big amber jacks, but uh, mainly for grouper. Now we got a sinker. Got the sinker. <laughs> sinker. We got a split shot, and we got a hook. This is what Lenny calls a split shot. What do we have for bait here, Lenny? Bandit rudder fish. We're going to throw it in the water and see what happens. Is it even plugged in? No. We should probably plug it yeah, in. It's going to be awfully hard to bring it up. <laughs> and over. It's tight. you got to really work it there. Perfect. All right, we're fishing. That's it. Oh, 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 you got yourself a little snapper. Look at that. Okay, oh, y'all done? Baby. All done. 25 pound snapper, and we got to throw them back. The season's closed. So, we got to wait till next year to come back in the month of June. We only get to, I think it's the month of June, maybe five weeks to fish the snapper. So, in the meantime, we'll catch and release them. So, your job is going to be to watch two of these now. Well, I'll have to sit there and look back. Sit in the middle and jump back and forth. Give me, sir. He's still there. He's still there. He's still there. He's still there. <laughs> so much for that one. Did you get it snapping it? I, I've been sitting here for about 15 minutes. We had that big old piece of live bait on there. He went to biting on it. I set the button on him. This is a big fish. He snapped that rod. I got color. I got color. This is not what we're fishing for. This is the wrong thing. Wrong thing, but a little bit of excitement. Look at that, man. He just snapped, and it snapped it back here. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, well. I brought extras. There he is. Yep, there he is. Dusty. Now you gotta get the gaff ready for Frank. Oh, oh. it's the, definitely the wrong flavor. There's a lot of movement. Yeah, he's close and there's a lot of movement. He's looking like a snapper. Oh, look at him. There he goes. There he goes. No. Frank, what do you got? Small jack. We have big jacks and small jacks. We have red snappers, we have sharks, and we have no groupers. What is that, AJ? What do you got, a little shark? I'm just hoping he's not a red one. 400 feet down, right on the bottom, where they're not supposed to be. Fish on. Another one on over there. Hopefully it's not one of these. I got a rod breaker. Another red one. Fish on. Big and red. You got one, Frank. Everybody's got one. There's like a zillion in them it's here. It's a ride card! Oh it's my goodness! Look at that! Finally! Alright, we need 23 more of those. Oh man, I had a big one on there, boy. He busted it off. That was a doodaddy. 
cone a little bit. Yeah, another snapper. That could be him. I don't know. We'll see. I had to tighten the drag all the way up. He's coming. As long as he's coming, bring him in. I think it's a big AJ. Oh, that rod ain't gonna break. Rod breaks and breaks. What are you gonna do? We break him every day. That's a nice fish. She let a great steak on the grill. My man's got another big snapper more than like on here. Hopefully it's a grouper. Probably red, huh? I don't see snapper. Holy moly. That's a rod breaking air, boy. Tired of catching red snappers, so I'm gonna go for a swim and see what I can shoot, and that won't be a red snapper. That's my plan. Actually, there was quite a few tropicals, a lot of small mangrove snappers. Lots of big red snappers mixed in. They were down below me 40, 50 feet, but uh, nothing really worth shooting. Pretty much all kind of fish tank fish. Oh, that massive dude there. Yeah, it's pretty. I think that one's big and tough yet. Now we're knitting. We do an offshore knitting class here occasionally. No additional charge. It seems that Todd is, is graduating with honors. I was out first. Well, what's different now is we're fishing uh, back on natural structure, just on a pile of rocks and about 400 feet, and try to find some scamps, yellow edge, snowies, anything but red snapper. There's one. Mine's the right kind, too. Ah! <laughs> no. Another white porgy. I okay, finally stuck him. Yeah, we got somebody on here. Doesn't seem red. Oh my goodness! We got the right kind. Not a big one, but it's a good one. Little scamp, and he's big enough to go home with us. I don't think this is a shark. You took me to this deep spot that's got, got these bad little sharks. Frank, what you got? I have a grouper. A grouper? A grouper. Awesome. Let's make him come in the boat. Or it huh? might be a shark. Frank, Frank, you're going to lose that fish. <laughs> That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. You did great, Frank. That's uh, uh, a liner Nice bee liner Okay, stop. It's a yellow edge. Baby yellow edge. Baby! It's dinner. Hey, Neil. You got a porgy. I got a really tough crew. We caught a 35 pound Warsaw, half a dozen scamps, and a dozen porgies in what, 30 minutes, and they're mad. It's, it's horrible, horrible. Is it a shark after all that? Massive. Amico. 
Two at a time, two at a time. Hold on, coming, Lenny, hang on. Ow. Damn. Wrong flavor. King snake eel, small one. He's good. Just swing, grab the line, throw him in the boat. Throw him in the boat. King snake eel. He's got the rod bent a little bit. Grouper. Not pretty, but really good eat. Oh, yep. Just what it is. Yep, that's a good one. There's a good one. Oh, yeah. I think it's a lesser. A lesser AJ. Those can go in the box. Oh, wait, I got somebody. No, let it go, let it go. Don't pull. Okay, we're good. So we got a little snowy. That'll work. Get him. There he Snowball. is. Snowball. Snowball grouper. Brown butter. Brown butter. Tom Medine. We're putting down for swordfish. Got our green light out. He's got a bait on the hook here, and he, what was that little bobber thing you call it? Oh, those are Linger Pittman lights. Linger Pittman lights. Um, swordfish are attracted to the lights. Our crew out to a hard night of fishing. <laughs> I don't know all over. How about you, Russ? Did you get any sleep last night? <laughs> We got a half a fish. No, he's all sharks on there. Oh, an eel. Snowy grouper. Yep, we're gonna get a whole bunch of these, we hope. Getting close. Close. Hey, Carla. Close. Carla. Oh, what do we got? Lesser. Lesser amberjack. These guys are in season all the time. Holy moly. Better one, Dom. Look, look at that save. That's a pretty snowball. What do you got? Oh, grab him, swing him in. Excellent. Look, no hands. I'm not sure what this is. We got color, 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 color. Oh, we got a lesser. Another lesser AJ. Hey. Another snowy. Come on, come on, get him up so I can see him. Oh, get him in the boat, get him in the boat. Ah! Camper doodle. Grouper. Mm, I can see that thing between those two buns again last night. <laughs> Dude, we can just keep doing this. This is the key. You only have to fish for one rod. You can't have all these rods in the water at once. Look at that, baby. Yep, scamp. Another scamp. We've had a wonderful day here on the water. Mr. Lenny Melatussi. We've caught lots of fish, beautiful fish. We've had a wonderful time. The fighting chicken, for sure. Did you know that the money spent on your hunting and fishing license is an investment? The Mississippi Department of Wildlife, Fisheries, and Parks uses money from license sales to enhance hunting and fishing. Like providing public hunting opportunities for wildlife management areas. Advise private landowners on deer and habitat management. Providing public fishing opportunities on state lakes. And operating fish hatcheries for stocking public lakes and streams. So make an investment in the great outdoors. Buy your Mississippi hunting and fishing license today. <laughs>